Hi, and welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor, where we're going to talk about coins and money. So these problems are going to involve uh, money, and that's something that we have experience with every day, so I think you'll see the benefit of understanding this. Uh, so there'll be a lot of problems that deal with uh, nickels, dimes, and quarters, change, dollars, going to the store, things like that. And, uh, and uh, I think it'll just be uh, better if we just jump into some problems and see how they work. First problem is uh, <clears throat> you have three times as many quarters as dimes, and the total amount of money that you have is $6.80. How many quarters and dimes do you have? So you have some quarters and dimes. You have uh, the total amount of money given is $6.80, and you have three times as many quarters as dimes, and you're trying to find out how many quarters and dimes that you have. So here it's really useful in all of these problems when you have like quarters, let's say, you just use a Q, a big Q, to designate how many quarters you have. And uh, dimes will be the same way. And D is the number of dimes you have. Okay? So, you're given, first thing, is uh, uh, the total amount of money you have is $6.80. So how would you do that? The number of quarters you have times 25 cents for each quarter, plus the number of dimes you have times 10 cents for each one of these is $6.80. That's very important thing to be able to write down because all of these problems are going to do that. Number of quarters times 25 cents plus number of dimes times 10 cents is the total number of uh, amount of money you have. So that's fact number one. That's equation number one. Equation number two says you have three times as many quarters um, as dimes. And to write that down, what it really is saying is the number of quarters you have is three times the number of dimes you have. So think about that. Uh, you have three times as many quarters as dimes. So you'll have more quarters than dimes by a factor of three. Okay, so here's our two equations, uh, quarters, dimes, and our two unknowns. So all you have to do is take this equation, plug it in, and start solving. So let's do that. 3D times 25 cents, 0.25, plug it in there, plus D times 0.10 is equal to 6.80. Okay? And we'll just multiply this, this through here. 3 times uh, 0.25 is 0.75D plus 0.10D is equal to $6.80. Now you can add these two up just like any, anything uh, that you've been doing. 0.75 plus 0.1 is 0.85D is equal to $6.80. So D is going to be $6.80 divided by 0.85. Okay? Because you just divide both sides by what's in front of D there. Uh, so D is going to be equal to 8 when you put this in your calculator. The number of dimes you have is 8. Okay? And to find the number of quarters, you just use the other equation. The number of quarters is 3 times the number of dimes, which is 3 times 8. So the number of quarters you have is 24. Okay? 24. So it's easy to check this. Okay? First thing you need to do is say, uh, you have three times as many quarters as dimes. Eight times three is 24. Yes, you do. You have three times as many quarters as you do dimes. And the other part of it is just to make sure that this combination of quarters and dimes gives you $6.80. And I think you can prove that with your calculator. Uh, 0.24 times 25 cents each plus eight times 10 cents each. You add that up, you should get $6.80. So it's pretty easy to check. Okay? Next problem. A pile of 16 coins consists of pennies and nickels. So all you have is pennies and nickels in this problem. You have 16 coins. The total amount of money is 36 cents. 